research has shown that for most people, including Africans, they think of the African continent as a place where nothing good can come from. Foreigners have often referred to Africa as a black continent, not because the inhabitants are black, but because of the persistent problems of Africa. However, the problems facing Africa do not arise from nature, they are mostly man-made. These and many other reasons inform the theme, strong men versus strong institutions, strengthening democracy in Africa, at the ALEX 2019 lecture in Lagos. Who are the strong men and what are the strong institutions? Are the strong men those seeking to emancipate themselves from the hold of strong uh, institutions they are entangled with? Or could it be the strong men that are superintending over the strong institutions which they seek to control absolutely. Democracy and good governance must go hand in hand, and the operators must be strong in order for it to succeed. Without strong men, all efforts to sustain the system will come to naught. In order to ensure that we create a country that is sustainable, we must divide our country into cantons, and we must have a system of government which is not federal but confederal. We have a weak center and strong subsidiaries and you now know that you have a country where whose president you don't even know. They don't even have a president. They have a presidency which is a rotation. That is what we should do in Africa. Discussants at the event agree that Africa is indeed blessed to the essence of being the best continent in the world. If the strong men can harness the potentials in it for the growth and development of all. We don't pay attention to a number of these things. We are busy fighting. Should it be APC? Should it be PDP? Should it be Atiku? Should it be Buhari? And the reason why some of us are not interested is that it doesn't matter how it is. Until you change the rules of the game, it will continue to be played the same way. We have a crisis of, we have a crisis of trust in the institutions, whether strong man or strong. We have a crisis that democracy has not delivered economic benefits. And therefore, we need to have strong men and strong institutions with a moral foundation that will lead us to the future. Indeed, Africa needs strong men, but strong institutions will live beyond men and provide a better future for the generations yet unborn. Jubal Falami, LTV News.